The purpose of today's briefing is to provide the update to the people of KwaZulu-Natal and South Africa on the obtaining situation on the ground and the program to rebuild our province again. As we engage with you today, we are encouraged by many in our communities who have already grouped themselves uh, to begin the work of rebuilding. South Africans from all walk of life have rolled, life, have rolled up their sleeves and are assisting in the cleanup and recovery across uh, the province. The people of KwaZulu-Natal are indeed re-engineering and reopening our province for business and investment again. We must use our recent trials and tribulations to build a province that is even more united and ready to rise again. We are pleased that all major transport routes are now operating normal and traffic is flowing. The movement on our roads point to an economy that is faster returning to normality with transport being allowed to play its role as a major economic enabler. KwaZulu-Natal has resumed its strategic role as a corridor that links the economic hubs of Gauteng and other provinces. It must be remembered that the bulk of South African trade is seaborne and therefore move through our commercial ports. It is estimated that the seaborne trade accounts for between 80 to 90 percent of the South African economy. As a coastal province, we therefore have a major responsibility to ensure the free flow of goods and services throughout our economic system. We also have a responsibility to provide our landlocked neighboring countries access to their goods to the sea and to facilitate their trade with the rest of the world. We will reflect briefly on the impact uh, of this unrest on the economy. As government, we continue to visit the scenes of devastations. It is now evident that it will take time for the province to recover. The impact has been worsened and it is severe even in rural towns. SMMEs and uh, individual business owners uh, have been severely affected. But we must also indicate that this has affected the whole uh, or almost all sectors across our economy. The road to full recovery will be long and hard and will require all stakeholders to work together to reverse the negative impact. In our latest assessment, Etegwini and Umsunduze municipalities remain the hardest hit. We estimate that the unrest will affect Etegwini in the following areas, a loss of stock of more than 1.5 billion, damage to property and equipment which uh, is estimated at uh, 15 billion. Over 50,000 informal traders have, have been affected. Over 40,000 businesses are affected. More than 150,000 jobs are now at risk. Preliminary, preliminary estimates suggest that the impact on the Etegwini GDP will be about 20 billion. Towns such as uh, 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 Peter Marisbeck, Nongoma, Eshowe, uh, Boston, and Umzimkul were also hard hit by the wave of looting and destruction of property. We are very mindful of the impact of the unrest on our rural towns. Other small towns uh, affected by the unrest include Richmond, Greytown, Umzinto and others. Our current information indicates that key centers of the economy were negatively impacted, and this is reflected as follows. Malls and shopping centers, 89. Uh, hospitals, 
one, warehouses 45, factories 22, banks 8, ATMs 88, liquor outlet 89, liquor distributors 8, delivery trucks banned 37, schools uh, vandalized 139. Apart from the physical destruction of property, the shutdown of the economic activity has badly affected the overall economic output. Conservative estimates indicate that every hour that the entry between uh, KwaZulu Natal and Gauteng is closed, millions of rents are lost uh, on the economy. We expect that once the assessment is complete, the figures may be far much higher. The social cost has also been very high. Apart from placing thousands of jobs at risk, the unrest has also threatened social cohesion and food security in the province. According to the survey uh, by the KwaZulu-Natal Agricultural Union, Guanalu, Estimate, they estimate that the unrest demolish 55% of economic activities in our rural town. The survey shows that there is an increasing uh, shortage of food uh, in various towns. Majority of our towns are already experiencing severe shortage, while about 32% uh, uh, at a moderate uh, food shortage. Only 4% reportedly to have uh, secured uh, and suffic or enough food supply. While we are still taking full stock of the damage caused, we also uh, are preparing for the possibility that we may be required to call for the declaration of the state of disaster in guazulu Natal. In terms of the latest security analysis, with regard to the security situation, uh, our multidisciplinary multi law enforcement agencies have been hard at work. Stability and order has returned in most, of, in most parts of our province. We remain on full alert. We are extremely concerned about the reported vigilante linked to murders in Phoenix in which uh, at least 38 people are reported to have been killed by vigilante groups. These matters are not only from Phoenix, but also include Inanda and Vererem areas. Since then, the Minister of Police, General Begitele, has assigned a team of top detectives from Etewini to lead the investigations. Those who died in the unrest include Africans who are very who are in my in majority and Indians, although the proportion we must indicate Africans who died uh, are much higher. So far at least five people have been arrested and more arrests are still expected. The arrests are critical in enforcing the rule of law without fear or favor. We are satisfied with the progress of the investigations. However, we want to see the arrest of all those suspects linked to these senseless matters of civilian men who were traveling uh, on the main road. This week we visited the Nzimande family in Inanda and also met with the bereaved families of about 22 people who died during the unrest. We have started a process toward engaging communities and have developed an intense social cohesion program that will promote unity among Africans and Indians to ensure peace and harmony. The Justice, Crime Prevention and Security Cluster will continue its relentless pursuit to, pre to bring those responsible for these crimes to book. In total, at least 250 people are reported to have died, and the police will continue to investigate circumstances surrounding their deaths. 
The SAPS are investigating 163 cases for murder and 87 inquest dockets have been opened and 20 arrests relating to the cases of murder uh, uh, related to the unrest. The highest record number of deaths during the unrest were in a Teguini, which recorded 110 murders. And this was followed by Mkungunluvu, where 20 murders were reported. The majority who died during the unrest had gunshot wounds and step wounds, while others were badly assaulted. Some people died from the smoke inhalation and uh, severe pain uh, because some, some of the warehouses that they were looting were subsequently set alight while people were still inside. Others died during the stampede uh, as they fought each other over uh, the stolen goods. As of this morning, the total number of people arrested in the province over the recent uh, looting uh, 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 incidents is 2,763. The majority of suspects were arrested for being in, position, in possession of stolen goods. We are advancing the cause of peace and unity. We have started a process toward engaging communities and have developed an intense social cohesion that will promote unity among the people. As part of our response, we will activate community in dialogue program on an urgent basis. This will see the following unfolding. Employ the services of conflict resolution facilitators, conduct instability or conflict management monitoring and evaluation in order to determine the impact of our interventions. We have received the reports from SAPS and Metro Police working with community policing forums that the road block, uh, that the road blockages have been removed and roads cleared for free movement. We have also tasked the JCPS cluster, which is the Justice Crime Prevention and uh, Security cluster, to conduct workshops on the legal framework which regulates the operation of neighborhood watch forums. Everyone must stick to this legal framework under the leadership of the SAPS and other law enforcement agencies. When it comes to the plan, the plan uh, of the government to respond to this, the provincial government have consulted with our social partners, including political parties, businesses, traditional leaders, religious leaders, uh, uh, religious leaders, the labor uh, unions, and the transport operators in order to respond collectively to the crisis. Given the genesis and the manifestation of this challenge, it is our view that only a whole society approach will yield a sustainable response. In this regard, our Build Back a Better response is based on the following uh, pillars. Security, wherein we will ensure the security of people, property, essential services, and business. Coordination, which involves establishing a coordinated effort in recovering the economy with all organs of the state and stakeholders working together. Township and rural economy, Focusing here, we will focus on, on reigniting township and rural economy. This is with clear and precise actions to ensure that not only food security is provided, but we also provide development and employment uh, in both townships and rural areas. Flagship projects like bulk buying will be accelerated to ensure access to product uh, to spazas uh, and uh, spaza shops in our township. 
Addressing general lies anxiety uh, induced by the unrest. And in this regard, we're going to roll out social cohesion and moral regeneration program. In the immediate, we have had uh, to focus our attention on security of corridors like your N3 and N2. This is to facilitate the smooth and secure transit of fuel and food supply. In the coming days, our focus will be on stabilizing the situation and easing supply chain logistics and production. We are also focusing, at, we are also focusing on ensuring that the commercial viability of our ports, roads and rail network uh, and the continued functioning of the Dubai trade port are not destabilized. Stability in the fuel supply is critical because long queues indicate that the economic activity is being suffocated. You will agree that the fuel supply has now been stabilized. Even though some items may still be missing from your preferred retailer uh, as the province, we have greatly uh, improved the supply and availability of food. As a result, the queues at supermarkets have sharply decreased. Working with law enforcement agencies, we are ensuring the safety of businesses. Besides restoring law and order, we are focusing our energy on putting in place strategies and mechanisms to detect and deter future uh, unrest. In this regard, the Provincial Joint Operations Committee have been activated to monitor, coordinate, and fast track integrated response and recovery in the province. This includes planning, implementing medium to long term interventions. The quantification of damage continues and is being coordinated at, at municipal level by all uh, organs. We are also uh, using OSS and DTM to coordinate through wards and local municipalities. We are encouraged by companies like Toyota and MassMart, which have publicly made a commitment to continue operating in the province despite the fake report to the contract. MassMart, which owns Game Macro, Cambridge uh, Food, and many other uh, retail outlets, was one of the hardest hit business, uh, uh, businesses. The company has 39 facilities, including its distribution center at River Horse uh, Valley, which were affected by the unrest. Despite this, they have also announced that they will continue uh, to operate in the province and even ensure the, uh, the retain of all uh, employees. We are confident that many more companies will follow this example. We are, however, mindful of the fear and overall anxiety that exists, especially in the retail sector. We will do everything to assure the sector of our continued uh, and continuous support. The packages that uh, are uh, in plan to assist businesses as announced by His Excellency President Cyril Ramaphosa, national government is working on extensive social and economic relief package for affected sectors. We are working closely with the national government on this, and as Gwazulu Natal, we are calling for both a relief and stimulus package. We will also be exploring ways to augment the national support packages to affected companies, workers, and communities. We are, or all our efforts will, however, be guided by the final assessment report at the end of the verification process. Uh, we are ready to support companies that want to rebuild premise, uh, their uh, premises where, which were destroyed. At the same time, we will expedite building plans approval, occupational certificate approvals, and EIA's requirement. This will ensure that the rebuilding process is quick and that mo most of our companies are back on their feet as soon as possible. 
municipalities are also coming to the party with support packages for businesses like in the Tewini, they are considering the, to provide rate relief to businesses that can no longer operate due to damage to their property. Uh, they also consider to provide a rental holiday to business that are using municipal buildings, allow business uh, uh, that currently not operating uh, to request discontinuation of services, uh, set up a single support service at the Deben Exhibition Center with a hotline and engage with IDC as well as CETA and ETALA to provide financial support. Uh, this intervention that I've just uh, unpacked is from now uh, onward, but uh, beyond the three month period, we are engaging in an intensive program. This will start by ensuring that we ensure the uh, transformation of the economy, especially trying to force the implementation of principles of inclusive economic growth. To achieve this, uh, we will require that we build a solid skills base and more employment uh, creating ventures. So the, mid the, the medium to long term response will focus on reassuring, rebuilding, and ensuring that KwaZulu Natal is rising and uniting. We will focus on promoting KZN brand in domestic, continental, and international market, ensuring the success of the intra Africa trade fair which is scheduled to take place here in Deben uh, in November. We will continue to position KwaZulu Natal as gateway to Africa and, Africa and African continental free trade area. We are also working with Transnet to implement moving of more uh, cargo from road to rail. This initiative will increase efficiencies and drive down the cost of business in an overall economic uh, uh, in an overall economy we have also finalized the kzn export strategy all right we do apologize we have to come out of this briefing quickly We're having a bit of a technical issue uh, but we'll go back there as soon as we can the uh, kwazulu natal kwazulu natal and supply the continent and the world we anticipate that businesses that are already exporting to the rest of the continent and those that are still planning will find this strategy useful. The strategy will help them in their quest to grow continental sales and to remain sustainable with positive implications on jobs and economic growth. The strategy will be launched soon as part of the build up to the intra Africa trade fair. Uh, which will be late this year. Uh, and this trade fair will be used as the platform to market KwaZulu Natal and restore investor confidence. Colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, let me then take this opportunity now to uh, move uh, to update, to provide an update on COVID-19 uh, 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 status in the province. We should never lose sight of the fact within the value chain, our numbers have gone up. The latest information was gathered over the last 24 hours is that KwaZulu Natal has recorded 1,542 new cases. This brings the total number of COVID-19 cases to 382,354. Thirdly, we have now lost 11,313 people. The average number of cases recorded in the past seven days was 1,212 uh, per day. Over the seven day uh, moving average, uh, or our seven day moving average has increased in the past four days, past four days to about uh, 717 
to 1,212 cases per day. Eteguini Metro continues to contribute 35% of reported deaths. Out of this, 2% uh, of deaths occur at home, and the median number of the, de of the deaths was uh, 63. Recovery stands at 350,596, and active cases are 16,000. Uh, uh, 16,814. In terms of admission, the number of daily hospital isolation has increased steadily in both private and public se uh, sectors. Uh, these include patients uh, in ICU and those requiring ventilation. The average number of isolation increased from 52 to 186 admission per day since the beginning of July. In terms of vaccination, uh, even against these numbers, we must continue to fight back against the, the virus. In this regard, our COVID-19 vaccination drive continues in earnest. Yesterday, we uh, reach the 1 million mark for the number of people who have vaccinated and our numbers now are around or they stand at 1 million and 41. So the number of people who have vaccinated in all our vaccination centers and the vaccination centers are 191. We are aware that some site such as Inkosi, Albert Lutuli Central Hospital, and Moses Mapita have already started vaccinating people uh, age uh, from 35 years and above. This is uh, because of availability of sufficient uh, vaccine doses. However, all our sites throughout the province will be fully ready for those who are in this category from the 1st of August. We want to reiterate that even those who have been vaccinated still have a duty to follow non-pharmaceutical measures such as wearing of masks, regular washing uh, of hands, and use of sanitizers, and maintain social distancing. Once again, we call for unity in the province. We call on all people of KwaZulu-Natal to put up their hands and their shoulders to the wheel and to work for a better and more inclusive KwaZulu-Natal for all. In this regard, we welcome the initiative launched by our leading radio station in KZN under the theme hashtag uni Unite KZN. These uh, media giants are inviting us to focus on the future we want for our province. All of us need to stand up and we need to support this initiative. We would like to, <clears throat> we would like to use this platform to invite every citizen to join this hashtag Unite KZN movement. This initiative is anchored around the program to create opportunities, cleaning up our neighborhood, providing for those who are needy, and ensure that we continue to promote unity and togetherness. This is indeed Ubuntu at work. And as government, uh, we will lend our firm and continue uh, sub and continued support to this movement for the unity of the people of KwaZulu-Natal. Together, let us rebuild KwaZulu-Natal. Together, let us unite KwaZulu-Natal. And I thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Honorable Premier, for that detailed <coughs> overview of where we are in KZN as a province, following um, you know, the unfortunate and unfortunate situation that um, unfolded in the past couple of days. Indeed, KZN is rising, and indeed, we need to unite um, with um, the 
within each other and in the province. I'll now invite colleagues in the media to ask uh, questions. You can just please indicate which media house you come from, your name, and then um, ask the question to either the Premier or the MEC. Thank you. Yes, colleagues. Mm -hmm. I've noted. I've noted three hands, four hands. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we can start um, with News in Africa. You can just uh, indicate your name and your question, and then you can go to the colleague, and then around the room. Thank you. My name is Malum Yerokwe from News of Africa. Premier, I don't know if I've missed out, but I was interested to hear you give us more detail, really, on the kind of assistance that your government will be giving to businesses, as you rightfully pointed out, that some of these um, of, of economic activities in some of the small towns or rural towns in Pazul Natal have been completely obliterated by what we saw o o o over a week ago. But I, I'm, I'm not hearing you clear on exactly a person who owns a business here in Pazul Natal, whose business was affected by what we saw last week, the kind of assistance they'll be getting from your government. Thank you. Thank you for all and the more from Kaka Sefran is Premier. There have been calls uh, from quite a number of people uh, to ask that a commission of inquiry be established to find friends and uh, exactly what happened and come up with solutions, especially to what is now being referred to as Phoenix Massacre. Are there any plans in the pipeline or are you considering to establish a commission on that regard? Finally, uh, yesterday I have on record the Deputy Provincial Commissioner Makoba and the Station Commander Zoni in Phoenix uh, saying seven suspects have been arrested, but just now I just heard you saying only five have been arrested. What's the correct number? Thank you. Mahani Kesa from ENCA. Um, Premier, I didn't really speak about the situations around the reopening of the schools. Um, we spoke to the NEC last week and they informed us that um, they're going to be utilizing um, mobile classrooms to assist those schools that were completely vandalized and those where the classrooms were damaged. Are we on track with regards to providing those mobile classrooms? What is the current status for that? Okay. Okay, thank you, colleagues. Uh, All right, uh, the KwaZulu-Natal Premier, the Sishle Zikadala, giving us an update on the provincial government's efforts to rebuild the economy and boost investor confidence after a week of civil unrest uh, in the province. Uh, we will have much more in our later bulletins. Uh, we got to go. Thank you very much indeed for spending the last three hours with us. The news continues. People who are in our FEZ, this will include those who operate in uh, the industrial parks, but this will include those who are using facilities of government in our township, which mostly are owned by ETA. So that is the first. Second, we are assisting companies to assess their damage and make application to uh, IDC so that they will then get support. But more than that, we are working with the Department of, uh, 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 the Department of Trade and uh, Trade Competition uh, that M Minister, Minister Patel were working with them to ensure that where they can provide assistance as packages, they do so. So those are specific steps that you missed, which are contained in the statement. We have also, as I'm saying, engaged with mayor to ensure that they work with companies in their respective municipalities in a way that will make it easy for, for, for those companies to 
uh, repeal themselves. One of that is that companies will find that they've got agreements with municipalities in terms of using buildings or in terms of payment. We have also presented here that they take when they've come to the board, they've come on board on that, they've come on board, they are saying, for those who have contractual uh, 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 agreements, they will allow them that if they can't uh, operate anymore, they consider terminating that agreement. But two, uh, those agreements, but two, they will also work with them in terms of ensuring that they can even defer payments in terms of rate or rent. So those are issues that as government we are initiating to support business. We have also activated the one-stop shop in, uh, uh, in trade and investment Guazulu Natal to work as a center that receive uh, and coordinate support from those who would want uh, support. I think you are now covered uh, on what you want. Uh, Mr. Tina, uh, with regard to the number, I think we would want to maintain the numbers we have reported now up until the police uh, update us. Uh, and this is not that we are disputing, but the initial report we received yesterday did was around five, and we would want to maintain that. We will, of course, interact with uh, General uh, Makoba to get the accurate and the final numbers. With regard to the commission of inquiry, we, we cannot rule out the possibility, but we are meeting with uh, the Human Rights Commission to discuss this situation and look on whether they can be able to investigate and get to the root cause. But most of the people, when you establish the commission, they normally say, no, but the commission will investigate, but don't arrest. It is better that you enforce the law and ensure that police investigate and arrest while we should not neglect the causal factor which could be established by such a commission so that's where we are uh, we will only be able to respond to that once we've gone through the process of engagement with uh, the human rights commission uh, with regard to schools opening yes we have suffered a huge uh, damage. Uh, as we have indicated, 139 schools were vandalized. Where uh, we can't uh, uh, be able to use those classrooms that have been vandalized, as NEC Mshengu reported, we will of course use uh, the mobile classrooms. We are ready for Monday, and we believe that all schools will be opened accordingly. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Premier. I will open the floor to the last round of questions or anything for clarity. Um, if there aren't any follow-up questions, uh, then uh, we do not want to answer. Can I give us the last yeah. first round of questions? Thank you. We're just following up on your response to Mani Miller's question. Um, We've spoken to several um, people within the business sector and many of them are quite optimistic of the legal. Uh, the one thing that they say though, they say it hinges on both provincial and national governments supporting them. One of the key things that they highlight is they need more coordination and with, with government. Um, they're saying that policy and the red tape needs to be removed in order to make business run smoothly. They made an example of applying for the sign to be um, put at the Columbia Industrial Park. Uh, they say that it's been over a year that they applied for this, it happened, but it has not happened because they're being sent from pillar to post. And they say it's something that's as simple as a sign. It is difficult to get that approved to put out there. Think of how many more other business operations or undertakings that can't take place. Um, as, as government in this province, is there any plan to try and assist these businesses to rebuild the province in the way of dealing with policy issues that they have as well as the red tape that affects big corporations as 
where they um, explore their communities. Thank you. I think you are quite correct. The red tape has been a problem, and that's why we established the uh, one-stop shop to address those issues. And we are moving to engage the private sector to, at least in that one-stop shop, which is coordinated by led by government. Second, a person who will be there or a team that will be there on their behalf. So that if they've got a complaint from anywhere in Guazulu Natal, that person will work direct with government to follow each and every complaint to its logical conclusion. So we will want to ensure that we are more integrated and coordinated to act fast and ensure that challenges that hinder economic growth are addressed with speed for both big corporate uh, uh, organizations and small businesses. We would want to see that happening. And we are going to work hard to ensure also that these companies that are based in Guazulu Natal, as I've said, they also benefit from the Africa free trade area. And that's what we are now planning in terms of the strategy. Thank you. Thank you very much, our senior. Thank you, AFP, for your time this afternoon. Thank you, colleagues. This now brings, you've got one last question. Okay, okay. Uh, no uh, ma uh, 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 Sibonge Ukuti Sitole Lili Tuba. Look up data Abanba Bagwazulu Natal ne South Africa Yonke. Nge response kwa tini. Zisef meni eskar. Singu hulu meni sa siyaz wuti. E, e, Andresti tube tube lezez ko na zenze umonaga lom kulu. Emnotwini wezwe ne mnoto we province no masfala. Lingan sunguti mpasa nje e, nchonchi iwe gumbe la segi le ito le isuga sugene na kuma hulsei inga pezu luka 1.5 billion. Umona ga alo owenze ke e, kuma properties kuinda ozo kusebenzela unga pezu luka 15 billion. Onke ama cholopa e, ama kula wazulu natala afana nete kumusunduze apaza msegi ilega kuu. Koto akze kwa tulela na kumatolopa anga pandi. E, afana no nongo umano showe. No mzunku. Siyazu kutifuti i report it, it, it. Ama molds ama ningi. E, especially ama molds. E, a vandalize iwe. Abengu 89. Ama warehouses abangu 45. Ama factory e, abangu 22. E, ama penka u 8. Uh, 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 a gelo apansi kandi mshini ya mapengi mshini ya mali ya bangu 88 a gelo apansi eh, kwa zoti inda o 8 isa upu zolta gayo e eh, 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 supply ayo ezu 89 eh, na zoza a gelo apansi ne stock sancho ncho kwa shiso matrak angu 37 kandi ikole eh, vandalize iwe a gelo apansi Zingu 139. Si yazu kuti kuno kusabu kulu ngu kuswela gala kukula. Kwa tuwa si afisu kinsegi isu kuti eh, ukula kukona no makungi ya kukunga eko e zingini. Onga ati eh, yuzinga elishu kuti sanil segi ile kwa tuwa si afinsegi isu kuti ukula kukona kuwa wonka matolopa wazulu natal. Ogus pete kabiga kulu isi moso gula wakwa bandu, especially esi kbone kwenze ka esiniku. La ama group la wa abeta kate ii nda oza zi abulale abandu abaninga kulu. E, esiniku sinje kpela, abandu abangu 38 okbigwe uguti babule. Kusuge la ngale so skati u minister upigi kele e, uhambe lile Phoenix. Gubansana no MEC upeti nko nyeni. Kwa establishwa e, e timba laba penyi, aba pezulu, aba zushala investigate wonke la ma cases. 
yafisa kukushu kuti njenga manje abandaba istani fai sebe boshiwe eh, beya maniswa nazo lezi tube tube nukbula wa kwa bantu bagiti singu hulu meni sibuye sahambe ela ingeni ela fegelwe izi shobo eh, sawazu kukusa na nayo eh, ngenze la ea pambi kuti njenga manje sesi ngeno selwe ni lukuti kube konu selo olkagambisa ubuisani pagati kwa bantu abashuwa shugene especially abumta abasendia na bantu abamnyama aba, aba, aba ama african ngingashu kuti le ndaba ya se phoenix chatsweb kanyi ne ndawoza se mkungundu iveze uguti wa ili sesenze oku lubuisani from 1994 till now kodwa afika kafinyeleli esimeni la singathi abantu ba integrated ngokupheleli baphile ndawonye ngaphandle kokucwasana kusiphatha kabi ngoba abaningi abantu ababulewe especially phoenix babulawe emgwaqeni omkhulu eh hayi ukuthi bebengena emzini womuntu kodwa bebehambe emgwaqeni omkhulu sizoqhubeka ke nohlelo lokubuyisa uzinzo nokuthula kuyo yonke indawo kwazulu natal eh, iyonke uhlelo lwe social cohesion sizogxilisa kakhulu e phoenix chatsworth naglezi indawo ezinye ithintekile emgungundlu sizogxinisekisa ukuthi tu idepartment yawa community safety and liaison eh, singena kulolu hlelo lokuxoxisana esilibiza phekelezi community in dialogue Sizobuye futhi siqinisekise ukuxhumana phakathi kwamaphoyisa eh nemetro ngokunjalo bakwazi ukusebenzisana nama community policing forum imbika sinayo manje nathi esiyibonile endaweni eyihlukahlukene esiyihambele ukuthi zonke lezinto ebeyibekiwe zivala indlela sezisusiwe sitheke eh, u community safety and liaison awubuyele uyorana ma workshops ukuthi uma abantu befuna ukuvikela indawo zabo benza kanjani ngoba kuyo yonke indawo la abantu bedidika bavikela indawo kudinga kwenziwe anda ini ukilawulwa i SAPS amaphoyisa eh si uhulumeni sinohlelo lokulekelela eh also ma business abathe balinyalelwa ngalesi sikhathi Loluhlelo lubandakanya ukuthi sikwazi kunikezela amaloni kulabo abazo bebedinga ukuvuselela sikwazi futhi ukunikezela lokhe sithi payment holiday yokushe ukuthi for his cutters tease eh umuntu angakwazi ukusebenza endaweni ebe engakhokhi aze hlampe for a period of 3 months kume seyakwazi ukukhokha ke ese khokha back nalo siyalekelela futhi ukukhordinator ukuthi abantu bakwazi ukuthi inkampani eyi apply ayo especially apply ku department nationally ziyalekeleleka sizosebenzisa futhi uhlelo oldidiyele lokuthuthukisa umnotho emakhaya naseyindaweni zasemalokshini uqinisekise ukuthi supporta also ma business abancane lokho kuzo include uhlelo lwe bulk buying e eh, esiqalile ngaphansi kwe operation vula ukilekelela bonke abantu especially labo abana masipaza shops sikwazi ukubalekelela but sizobuya sibheke nemkhakhe ehlukahlukene eh yama business enze ka eyindaweni zasemakhaya nasemalokishini ukuthi sikwazi kuwa promoter asebenze ngendlela kuwo wonke ama business akho nasiyaniki siqinisekiso sokuvikeleka e eh, through ukubangisana kwamaphoyisa abazovikela amasosha ngonjalo namaphoyisa omasipala e eh, iikole nabo basazi ukuthi iikole iningi ithintekile iikole kwaZulu Natal ezu 139 zicekelwe phansi noma kunjalo sizokwazi ukuthi eh, umavulwa ngomsomluko kube khona magumbi even lawa eskashana azo lekelela ukuthi abafundi bakwazi ukuthi babuyele esikoli bafundi uma sidlulela odabeni eh, lwe covid 19 
singashu ukuthi umkhankaso wethu ukulwisana ne covid 19 uke wathi kuphaza mseka especially ukwazi ukuthola kahle ibali ngenxa yokuthi kwezinye indawo abasebenzi baphaza msegini kodwa imbiko esinayo isitshene ukuthi ama cases manje ayaqhubeka nokunyuka ngoba nje ku20 kumahora anga mashuma mabili nane adlule Eh, abantu okutholakale ukuthi banale sifo eh, o bathesle positive bangu 1542 so lokhu kuvezela ukuthi izinga lokutheleleka lise phezulu siyanusa ukuthi bonke abantu baqhubeke bavaccinate and the department yakwa health through mec eh, noma gugu simela nezulu siyaqhubeka nomkhankaso wokuencourage ikuguzela abantu ukuthi bayo vaccinate ngamanje ngiqinisekisa lokho ibhendlela eyifana nonkosi Albert Luthuli eh ne Moses Mabibi eh seyiqalile ukuvaccinate abantu okusukela eminyakeni engu 35 kuyaphezulu and ngasho ukuthi eyindaweni eyiningi kuyabonakala abantu bevaccinate ngendlela Jenga manje kwaZulu Natal isidlule eh kwimilioni yabantu esebe vaccinatedile 1 million wabantu sebe uthathile umgomo and lokho kuncomeka kakhulu siyafisa ukuphetha ngokuqela nokuncusa ukuthi asibamsaneni sakhe ubunye kwaZulu Natal umkhankaso othulwe eh i i i abe msakazi hluka hlukene la kwaZulu Natal ngaphansi kwesiqubulo esithi hashtag #UnitedKZN ubaleke kakhulu kumele sonke suujoyine suli support ngakho konke nathi njengohulumeni sizosupporta suchaze lo mkhankaso ubuyisa ubunye futhi usho ukuthi masibamsane sakhe eh 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 e, amavelus esizwe esihlangeni nesizwe esiphokophelele inqubeke laphambili siyabuka Thank you very much um to be on our opinion and MEC um that now brings our briefing to a close thank you very much Siyabuka